Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on to January 20th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Dew where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes and volcanoes from around the world. Looking here at the last 48 hours of our sun and we have quite an active incoming sunspot here. Very bright and a little bit fiery in the last few images there. A little, bit, a little bit of a calibration going on. Outgoing images here. Not much to talk about. Plasma filaments. But this is a region we will be keeping an eye on as it did have a coronal hole ahead of it. Looking here at another light, you can see it is starting to activate. Indeed. Watching those solar filament loops just wrapping around and whipping around. These are sped up images, just so you know. And here you can really see the coronal hole ahead of it. And as well, the northern and southern coronal holes. But zero space weather to talk about really. Looking here at the Lasco 2 image and looking here, those two bright spots on the Lasco 3, that is Mars and Venus or sorry, Mercury and Venus that will be joining a, tra a transit. Looking here at Lasco 2, last few images of just today. But there are some images missing and there's been a lot of them missing recently. Try to compile them all together here soon. Looking here at a real time solar wind as we are just we are at a regular wind speed, 350 kilometers per second. Looking here at the Enlil spiral, not much to talk about. Schumann resonance, which is a power of nine right now. Still a low frequency. Actually, it's a power of six, quality of nine. last 24 hours for earthquakes looking mainly at the most recent action across South America in Peru and it started off with a 5.1 in Chanquila and then right afterwards a 5.3 followed a 4.8 and a 5.5 so very active off the coast of South America Peru as well Argentina seeing some active earthquakes today as well that is an active volcanic region looking here Dominican Republic and and now northern Virgin Islands seeing the activity as well Ecuador with a 4.2 and then across the United States has been active today some interesting Earthquakes I wanted to point out as well. New Mexico, 3.1 there, White City. But this Willowbrook, California, 3.5. I don't know if everybody knows that, that neighborhood, but it is pretty much Long Beach. Compton. Linwood. The hood was rocking with a 3.5 today. So if you're living in the hood, get in the comments section and let me know if you felt this 3.5 that may have been... Shaking some, maybe rattling some pictures on your walls throughout Los Angeles. And there's been many earthquakes. Uh, tune in to the 24 hour live stream for more accurate reporting on the earthquakes in California. I'm just going to boost it up here to the last three days for earthquakes. And you can see 
It has been very active across the West Coast and up into Alaska. And if you'd like me to post every day this daily dude, please let me know in the comment section and majority will rule. If you want me to post these videos every day, they will be up every day. So please let me know in the comment section. Going around the world and very active West Ring of Fire as well through the Australian plate into the Philippines, Russia with a 5.5, very deep 574 kilometer depth. So there's our largest and deepest the last 24 hours. And then pretty much the antipode is South America and Peru. Eurasia Plate, a couple minor quakes there, Albania. And of course, Hawaii, you can see they're still seeing a lot of rumbles across the island. And now the Kilauea caldera has filled up 650 feet deep with lava and now has two active lava fountains. Looking at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world, you could really see that there's a lot of stress across the ring of fire right now very deep earthquakes across the globe and we're seeing this activity not really slow down so stay aware and prepared and just be ready for anything these days as you can tell pretty much our planet can change in the blink of an eye and there are thousands if not millions of people being displaced by natural disasters earthquakes cyclones floods, landslides. Let's have a look at the volcanoes. Most recent, Sangay in Ecuador, Klochevskoy in Russia, Popo in Mexico, Raventador in Ecuador, Fuego in Guatemala, and then a lot of flood alerts and fire alerts going out there in between Sabancaya in Peru, Era in Japan, Merapi, Indonesia, Suez in Jima in Japan, and as well, Mount Etna, which has been a pretty viral volcano for the last 24 hours. Massive eruptions there. Looking here at the Pacific Disaster Center, you can see there are flood alerts right across parts of Malaysia, Indonesia, and West Java. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody on these islands affected by the monsoon rains, which are just beginning. So... Again, thoughts and prayers going out to everybody across the area, as well as some flooding conditions in Australia, extreme cold conditions, South Asia. We also have tropical cyclone Eloise, who most likely will be a category one, possibly a category two, as it makes landfall Mozambique, and most likely Friday into Saturday night. You can see here the Pacific Disaster Center showing landfall Friday night. Also looking at some flooding conditions across the United Kingdom and parts of London. Winter storm conditions across Newfoundland. Flooding conditions North Carolina and as well Texas. And then we do have a fire situation that is breaking out across California. There's about five fires. Looking here at the Butano fire, the Grade fire, Fanning fire. So there's about six separate forest fires that have erupted just north of this massive low pressure system, which we've been talking about in the last few videos. It's still here and it will still be causing some damage as it heads eastward. And you can see in the last few images here, satellite imagery, it's getting ready to head in east. And the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and Meteor Mike, it shows the same thing. We're gonna, but we're gonna start out here. Calgary, Alberta, home base. As you can see, watch those temperatures drop. Five day forecast, by the end of it all, we're gonna be down into the minus 15, minus 19 in some areas. This is right in between Calgary and Edmonton, but literally Calgary will be seeing minus 15 
and northward even colder and eastward even colder as you can see those white conditions coming in from Yellowknife and Northwest Territories. So Alberta and eastward watch for the extreme cold conditions to come back. At the same time, West Coast will be receiving some cooler conditions once that low pressure system brings all that rain down. And then across southeastern United States, watch for the low pressure system we were talking about in uh, moments ago. You can see here a five day forecast heading straight across Sierra Nevadas into Colorado and then eastward and watch for a weather bomb here most likely a super storm super storm Sandy event I don't know if anybody remembers her but I'm telling you we're gonna see some nasty nor'easters as you can see big system developing in the Atlantic as well overlooking Europe large low pressure system there not really going anywhere in the five-day forecast except ride the coastline of Norway in, into Finland and yes eventually it will be fueling down some really cold temperatures behind that and then again it's all about these cold temperatures right now down into even parts of Turkey Iran Iraq watch for watch for some really cold conditions probably snow in places where it has never snowed before across Russia look at these nasty cold temperatures that are going to be pumping around the planet soon folks overlooking the Pacific Ocean watch for this nasty low pressure system to affect just the shorelines of Japan but that will be a a talker in the long range forecast as it heads eastward into the Alaskan Peninsula you can see all these low pressure systems just keep getting locked up locked and loaded and just gaining strength and look at the size of this low pressure system that will be affecting Kamchatka and east parts of eastern Russia in the long range forecast as well as Alaska that's how big it is so yes long range watch for rain along the coastline of BC until then you can have some dry conditions and seasonably warm across South America daily evaporation rains heavier towards the regular culprits Panama Bolivia Colombia but it looks like those major systems through Argentina and Brazil are moving away giving some relief to the people of those areas overlooking South Africa as you can see here tropical storm Eloise uh, just scathed and broke down a little bit as it crossed Madagascar but it's going to regain strength quite possibly a category two when it makes landfall into Friday overlooking Australia downgraded tropical storm it will be moving in parts of northwestern Australia and then watch as that low pressure system just keeps bringing rain straight down the continent and then watch for heavy rains as well here through Fiji New Caledonia and westward could have some pretty extreme weather with these large supercells that will be forming have a look at our southern hemisphere right now as we're in summer mode down there coldest temperature being recorded minus 41 but quite the big systems the same thing in the northern hemisphere but coldest temperatures being recorded minus 58 in the long-range forecast and three count them one two and three very large low pressure systems stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your morning due bye bye now if you enjoyed today's video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world